Good afternoon. They are in everything from nonstick cookware, water repellent clothing to firefighting foam. We are talking about the man-made chemicals called PFAS. Now, they have been found in the soil around Holloman Air Force Base and in Santa Fe. Now, scientists here in Albuquerque are measuring how much of it is in the Rio Grande. News 13's Natalie Wattis spoke with state environment officials to find out more. When we look for PFAS, typically, guess what? We find it. And that's the nature of the chemical. It, it, it does not break down in the environment. It does accumulate in our bodies. So the less we ingest, the better off we are. That's the advice of the New Mexico Environment Department Cabinet Secretary James Kenney. Unfortunately, state environment officials say PFAS is becoming more and more difficult to avoid. It's in virtually everything that we use in society. Which is why, when the U.S. Geological Survey published a study this year about the levels of PFAS found in the Rio Grande, the Environment Department wasn't particularly surprised. It's valuable information that confirmed much of what we anticipated would be going on. Kimberly Beisner, one of the researchers who measured the levels of these forever chemicals in the river, says they did a survey of all the major rivers in the state, then focused on the Rio Grande. We found PFAS in all the major rivers of New Mexico, with concentrations generally increasing as the rivers flowed downstream through the state. They sampled five areas up and down the river and found PFAS increased as it flowed past the city. It increased almost tenfold sometimes. The study showed that concentrations of PFAS increased in the river as it flowed past the city. But what does this mean for wildlife and humans for that matter? With the levels that were seen in this sampling, the, uh, it's a little bit unknown what those direct impacts are going to be and how much of a health risk they pose. Roderick says PFAS are a known carcinogen in people. Essentially, EPA is saying that any exposure to PFAS is a health, health risk. And for the crops that rely on this water downstream, like New Mexico's famous green chilies, they're still studying that too. The levels of PFAS in this study are lower than the state's enforcement levels, but... We definitely would suggest that they don't want to drink the water. Natalie Wattis, KRQE News 13. Now today the EPA set its first ever official limit on PFAS in drinking water. All water pulled from the Rio Grande is treated before it is consumed.